Yeah, welcome to Okorese TV. One place where you can really get nice information, entertaining news, and news about our people. I am Dr. Wolabi Hakim. You are welcome to our new show, The Influential Ibaja People. The Influential People of Ibaja is the program. And the program is Influential People of Ibaja. Today, I have tried to track my guest down. But because he has been so involved, he has been so busy, it's been difficult getting him in the office, difficult getting him to the studios. But on this day and this time, I have been able to track my guest down on Skype. And that, to me, is a show of technology. Today, I have a guest with you, an influential personality, an entrepreneur, a scientist, a father, a husband, a son of the soil, and one of those revered on the soil of Ibaja. Needless to say a lot about him, and needless to tell you about him. I think I will leave him to do justice to that. With me on Influential People of Ibaja today is my guest. Can I meet you, my guest? You are welcome to Okurese TV. Tell us about yourself. Thank you for inviting me to this program and your television, Okorese Television. My name is Adik Toyin Abdul Fatai. I am a pharmacist by profession. My company name in Ibaga is Ile Diagban. However, a lot of people will identify me with Tasoro Company. But the, ma the truth of the matter is, we migrated from uh, Ile Diagban to the present day Tasoro Company. I am of Sobalodru Diagban stock. All right, thank you. Um, can you tell us about your family? I know you are married. Where are you married from? And how are the children doing? Are they doing well? Regarding my family, I am married, like everybody knows. The name of my wife is Alaja Ramata Folanle Boroji. She's of a lemon short stock. She's the daughter of uh, late Alaji Surukanari Mubo, a cousin of the popular Borema Buruji. To the glory of God, we are blessed with children and we are all doing fine. We've got a lot of grandchildren too. I glorify God. And um, the last of my child is in the university. By the grace of God, by next year, he will become a full fledged mass communicator. Um. I know that your people, particularly the people of Ibaja, and generally the Bumino people are generally and traditionally traders. What motivated you to have a love for pharmacy? This is your question of what motivated me to join pharmacy. Despite the fact that uh, our people as Ibona are known for trading, what? Well, it's a very long story, but I'll make it short. When I was brought from Lagos, I was taken to Ibaja to stay with my grandmother, Asimawu Alapan Sampa. Along the line, health provision and services were provided by the SIM dispensary, that is the Sudan Interior Missionary. In that hospital, there's a man whom I believe was their pharmacy technician. Always dressed in white, immaculately neat, very friendly, lover of children. 
he was popularly known as Babaibo. And from then, I had in mind that when I grow up, I want to follow suit. As I was growing up, I realized he was in charge of the drug medication and dispensing. So, when I was about to go to university, I applied for pharmacy. And thank God, to the glory of God, I am a, a pharmacist today. But our old Ogba, the SIM or Equa dispensary motivated me through my Bible. Wherever he is, may God bless him. Thank you. I know that you are very, very passionate and enthusiastic about rural developments with your special focus on Ibaja. Can you tell us why you are so passionate and why you are involved in the development of Ibaja? <laughs> My involvement in community affairs. That's a very passionate question. Passionate question in the sense that um, I grew up in Ibaja. Played in Ibaja, made friends in Ibaja, school in Ibaja, had a very nice time in Ibaja. And uh, I strongly believe that I've owed or owed Ibaja a lot. My activities, my activities in the community dated back. To the time I was in Quara Tech. We came together to form FISA, Federation of Ibaja Student Association. The first person was uh, Professor Shegun Muleye of Blessed Memory. I could recollect then our resources was Miaga. We are all students, we don't have money, yet we need when we realize the fact that uh, all students of Ibaja origin must come together and there should be a way we should be able to help the younger ones shift our idea of going to Lagos to do business towards education. Our coming together enable extramural classes to be conducted for the younger ones. Today, we are good for it. Like I was saying, we need seed money to start, to start the association. We were, we were asked to levy ourselves. Alaji Bashiru Bakare is a very strong witness. I could recollect selling my mail ticket to generate money to get an almanac officer. And that was the first almanac of Federation Ibaja Student Association. The money we realized for the almanac was the seed was the seed money that we used to run to run the association. Gradually, we came together as undergraduates, forming clubs. My club was Gigili Club of Ibaja. Thank to God, we try our best to help Ibaja. And as of today, we are still on it. That is the concluding part of this episode. And that will be our part one of this video. Wait for the second part.